It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my Form the EU video as Germany. Welcome back. How are we all doing? Feeling good? I hope so. So, let's make a few adjustments. First of all, we don't need to get send any more equipment to the Nationalist Spains. The problem is, is guns aren't helping them when they don't have any conscription. If I wanted them to destined to win, I would have sent them guns prior to when the war kicks off at the very, very start. I Unfortunately, I may have messed up on that. Okay, one thing to note as well, this is not the most ideal time to do this, but I would recommend justifying on Italy as soon as you can. Now, the optimal time to do it, for, for efficiency reasons, to make it everything nice and smooth and quick, to get everything as fast as you possibly could, is to do it just prior to the civil war happening in Germany. In this case, I'm doing it a little bit later. Um, the downside is doing it whilst unaligned is you need 50% world tension. So that is a slight drawback. There you go, we can justify on uh, Tyrol. Great, perfect. And we can pull off a few of you guys. Go here. We can make our tank division a little bit larger. Go for a 30 combat width because 30 is just a random number, right? And you want to here. Really tricky finding a spot to attack into here. I think the most ideal spot is to punch her into... Oops, no, 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 no. There we go. That's the best spot to punch into from my experience. I'm gonna go for you and go for you. Actually, no, I changed my mind. I think we're gonna go for the guy who's got infantry officer. Um, yeah. Add you guys onto a field marshal. Front line here. And go towards Sicily. So, the requirements to form the EU are all the German corps, all the Italian corps, all the French corps, Luxembourg, Netherlands, and Belgium. That's right, I selected the Netherlands and said Belgium. You also need this core too. This is very important. This is a core state. Actually, what? It's not. Now, don't ask me why, guys, but I have tested this, and for some bizarre reason, you need this. And it says all core states to form the EU, but yet that's not a core state. But yet it says it's required. Damn you, Zara. Damn you! Anyway, what we're we going to do? Oh yeah, we're going to pull you guys onto here. We're going to exercise the tank divisions. How many tanks are behind with? Only a few. We still have the, uh, the Jager Not Program. We still have that, which is uh, something I never thought would be a good idea, but I guess 25% reduction in cost of planes is actually pretty sweet. So, uh, yeah, I'd recommend you do that in future. Oh, look at them holding out here. Why does the Spanish always get so strong after the Civil War? It seems it's kind of backwards what you expect would happen, wouldn't it? And expect the uh, Spanish to get a lot weaker after the war. The recovery from the war should be like a big deal, but it's not. I'd imagine when they get a focus tree Spain, they'll probably be nerfed. Pretty heavily. Alright, what do we got going on, boys? What do we have that we can find useful? I don't know what we can spend our political power on. Uh, you could probably go for the monarch France pretty quick. Well, constitutional monarchy. Did we go for all the boosts? Okay, the program's ended now. In that case, we don't need as many of you. Okay. Um, I have a feeling that we should have enough planes to make 800. Yep, we should just... Any of these we got? 100? Yeah, that should just be enough. Build you guys up here, and uh, here, and then uh, add some civvies there. Perfect. Try and build ourselves up to be a big industrial power. I am going to go for free trade, but I don't want to do it just now because that's a little bit too early because we'll have to import stuff. And I want to try and maintain as a strong, well-rounded economy for as long as possible. We can go for uh, rebuild our nation, which we will do. So to go for the next one, to get the monarchy compromised, we need 40% of uh, democratic 
Yeah, I think an easy way of doing this is just to ban... Oh, you can't ban... Can't ban communism. I wonder if banning fascism... Oh, it wouldn't. There's only 8% anyway. No, it wouldn't make any difference anyway. Uh, in that case, we'll just rebuild the nation. Gets a 20% reduction in consumer goods, which is just pretty insane for one whole year. That's pretty damn good. Alright, so what are we having going around the world here? We have a landing here and here from Japan into China. Not much of a movement around Beijing. Well, they've lost Beijing, but... I don't know. Um, in my previous game, I helped out China. I don't know how I feel about that now. I don't really feel like it's worthwhile. I guess maybe in future not to take on a stronger Japan. Maybe that's an option for you. I don't know. Can also make our better fighter too. So, getting over these mountains are really tricky, okay? I'm not going to lie to you. It's probably one of the most difficult things you can have do in Hoi. Uh, breaking these mountains is just a, an absolute nightmare. Um, my strategy here is just to grind the mountains for a while and eventually they'll break. That's something I've just noticed seems to be the most optimal thing to do. Yep. I am going to use my political power, but there's nothing I need right this second, so I'm just going to hold on to it. Because I just want the ability to pick something if I need it within short notice. More than likely I'll go for Rommel, an infantry expert. But I'm not certain. We'll see how things pan out. I'll exercise you. Uh, infantry is good. Now we're doing for equipment. Light tanks are a bit behind on. Motorized we're catching up too. Yeah, we're all good. We're all good. We could train some more. Divisions, but if we get 40 width infantry, uh, 40 width tanks, it should be enough anyway. Rebuild the nation. Um, I think a new and better Germany is good because it modifies this rebuild the nation by an extra 10% per civvies and infrastructure, which is really good because it stacks. Um, I think we'll just hit those to the bottom for now and work on the civvies. All right, that's good. So, working on Disperse so we can go for Excavation 1, which is also nice because it gives us a little bit of extra. Well, to be honest with you, there's nothing we really need. But I guess it gives us more resources to trade to the free market, which gives us access to more civvies. Seems to have cleaned that southern pocket up. Seems to have... Uh, oh, this is usually the sign of a, a Japan that's about to lose this when you see things like this happen. Not looking good. All right. We have a war versus Italy. Are they going to attack us first? Or are they just going to sit around? They have got a lot of planes. I have found from experience it's just better off to sit here and then wait for the AI to react. That's exactly what I'm going to do. We can uh, do a lot of damage to them. Uh... National revitalization. Mm. Oh, so this is temporary as well. I never realized that. I wonder if I still got the option to do that, even if I lose national revitalization, which go expires after a year. I never realized that. Huh. Okay, we'll go for the Otterborn. So the first thing I'm going to do is just grind the air a little bit. Make sure we've got maximum air control. Shoot down as many of their fighters as we can. And then we'll grind against their front line for a little bit and see how things go. From experience, this tends to be a bit of a nightmare until you finally make a breakthrough. And then at that point, you tend to uh, start winning. Okay, I don't like the way we've engaged here, guys. I'm going to have to tell you all to stop. And then just try and aim for one point. I, I realize why they've done this now, because they're, on, they're unaggressive. They tend to like, they kind of fan out more when they're unaggressive, but when they're on uh, normal stands, they don't tend to do that as much. They've got a lot of 
a lot of interwar bombers, the Italians, so you end up having to shoot down a lot of those before you can start making breakthroughs. And offensive. It does look like we're actually breaking them here. Ten days. Here we are shooting down a lot of their bombers here, which is good work. Might as well go for the excavations with the 50% bonus. Just silly they're sat there doing nothing. Let's see, we're not breaking them anymore now. I think it's just spotted that we lost quite a few tanks. Let's have a little cheeky look. Light tank losses. Oh, damn, so many. Okay, we're going to have to stop there, boys. Alright, we've got five speed again. This is a bit of an uphill grinding battle, unfortunately. It's what you kind of do when you're fighting in mountain ranges like this. Uh, infantry expert. Nowhere near. Normally you can grind out an infantry expert in the Civil War, but we've not had the possibility to do that. Uh, no. Normally, stacking lots of air superiority tends to work quite favorably because you end up reducing their defense, and when they're sat in the mountains with less defense, you can normally break through them a lot quicker and easily. When the Autobahn finishes, those civvies will, will research them in record time. Make sure we're pumping out lots of fighters. We need loads of fighters. And then we're going to... I think we're going to go aggressive for you. But then everyone else is probably going to be a little bit more sensible. Oh, actually, I just can support this attack, can't I? Would that be enough, do you think? We're going to take so many casualties here. I did test this, and you've got to kind of get a little bit lucky and, and find a soft spot by just bashing your head against them. It is going to cause you to lose quite a lot of equipment, and it is going to cause you to lose quite a lot of uh, manpower, but you got to do what you got to do. Probably someone's in the chat right now, in the comments, screeching like, Oh, use the paratroopers, Dave! Just use the paratroopers! Why? No. <laughs> no. I'm afraid not. Autobahn is done. We got some free civvies. Oh, have we managed to break it here? Can it be done? Oh, are we making the breakthrough? Is it happening? And it has been done, boys. The impossible is now possible. And I don't know if it's easy to break through mountains or it is marsh. I think it's easy to break marsh, actually. Yeah, but, but not by much. Can we all stop for a second? Stop. And I want the tanks to break through here. The tanks get into battle first? Yes, they are. The left has ascended in France. Okay, that's not what I expected. So what I previously just said is actually incorrect. <laughs> okay, I guess I must have... Oh, I think I know what's happened here. It's because we've not gone for the... So it looks like... It looks like... That is the trigger for him to go left. That is the trigger for him to go right. But if you don't reach each of them, they just go left anyway, based on going for the pose, Mr. H. Okay. All right. Well, I've learned something new. Learned new things. I'm just going to stop you guys for a second. Let my armor concentrate on the damage. Because that way, all the cast can, like, prioritize who they're attacking. Uh, can we, can we like not move around, please? I hate the wiggling. Please don't wiggle. There we go. Here, there we go. Here, there we go. Perfect. We don't have actually any air control here, so that might result in this taking a little bit longer to break these guys. But we have managed to make some gains here, which is good to see. Perfect. Obviously, the next place to push is going to be here. And hopefully, we'll have to split the northern part of uh, Italy in half. 
That is my plan anyway. Having supply problems, are we? Shouldn't be. Once we get... Uh, where is it? It's this one. That reduces consumption by 10%. Vast offences is... We low on light tanks and low on mechs as well. Alright. Wait a second to get maximum planning. That's actually entrenchment. That's not planning, but whatever. Oh. We've got air control here, so this should be enough to slice them in half. Now uh, we need you guys to hold. I want you guys to stop and slice them in half. I want you guys to push here, even though you really shouldn't. Can we cut them off in the Alps? That would be really sweet if we could. Unless we can. Nice. Are we going aggressive again? I hope so. Here, here, here. Are they low supply? Yes, they are. At least 20 divisions here. This is a beautiful pocket. Oh, no, maybe not. Did we manage to get five divisions? Um, these guys must have arrived and then turned around. I think that's most of the time. If you're going to make an encirclement, it might be a good idea. It might be a good idea to uh, turn off their orders here to stop them moving back once we have made a breakthrough. Okay, you guys go here, here, go here, and do we go for the monarchy compromise now? Does it make any real difference, or an extra stability? Gives extra ten stability. Gives us extra reverse the brain drain. Nah, but we'll just get the civvies. It makes a difference. Uh, I guess the reason why, if they go right wing, it's it's better for you. is because that means they can't join the common turn. And if they can bring in another fascist nation, then it kind of, you get, you get some extra land to gobble up, I guess. Whoa, can we get in, guys? Come on. There we go. I don't want to cross the river here, that's why I'm trying to... I'm trying to move to the mountains, then push, push over. Yet again, tanks in mounds. Not usually a good idea. In fact, it's kind of the worst idea. But, we haven't got anything else. I guess we could go for Mountaineers a little bit. And I tried this with Mountaineers, and I just didn't find it was that... It wasn't any more effective than it was with just plain old infantry and tanks. So I just... I went against the... Uh, the... Um, the Mountaineer strategy. Alright, that at this point, they can't win. At this point, you can completely shred them because you have got a massive advantage when it comes down to the amount of divisions you've got. Um, I think we could assign these on to you. Spread out a little bit more. Uh, make another little encirclement in the north here, which is sweet. Good. Okay, infantry expert. Yep, yeah, that's a good use of political power. You're just sat here, which I don't like, so you're going to keep moving south. We wrap around you. No, you won't let us, will you? Oh, wait, maybe you will. Maybe you will. There we go. Okay, I think this is an opportunity to make a full-blown blitz. To Oh, actually, no, we'll close the pocket. We 
I might as well just close this little one here, get the bonus XP. Still haven't got Panzer Lead yet. Very close, though. And we got him. I wonder if there's any troops here. Okay, I'm going to go for the extra search slot. Let's get a nice tech lead. Can prioritize industry. You guys moving them out of the way? Yep. In this case... Um, do we close this pocket? Yeah, sure. We got winter gear, nice. The key amount of world tension that you want to avoid is a hundred percent world tension. A hundred percent world tension means that if you declare war on someone, they will instantly join a faction mid-war. We're going a little bit in get, getting going here. I think we've got it. Yep, there we go. Let the tank divisions finish them off. Got them. Hey, and then we'll finish them up. Everyone else to get into position. And we go. Having a, a real hard time here with uh, air control, that's for certain. Probably taking a lot of losses here. We seem to not have any trouble with civvies anymore, though. Um. Get a lot more factories though from all the ones we've taken off Greece. This should be a clean wipe. Tell you what, one area of the country, one area of the world you rarely see overruns is in Italy. I think that the train isn't built for it. Can we encircle their entire front line? That would be beautiful. Having a bit of trouble with equipment here, guys. Just a slight hiccup. Not a big deal, right? No. Just a small hiccup on uh, equipment. All in the red. We're all a little bit burnt out here, but... We can keep going. All right. Go for support equipment. We've got the extra search slot too. Uh, we've got the improved computer machine. And when we have encircled them, nice. I mean, circles so we've made in Italy now. I think it's around four or five, maybe now. Saw an overrun. What was I just saying about overruns just a moment ago? Hmm. You're probably wondering why am I going for heavy cruisers? Honestly, just for something a bit different. Heavy cruisers have a shore bombardment, and I think it's quite useful, I guess. But then if I can't beat their navy in open waters, kind of what's the point of the heavy cruiser? I don't know. Good point. I don't know. I'm arguing against myself. Is this going to be enough, boys? Is it going to be enough? The hell is that checkered line that was on the screen a second ago? Um, go here, and then you guys just walk around them.
There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Make sure a big support attack there. Every single division mopped up. You remember the old days prior to waking the tiger before before they got rid of national unity, you had to take out Sicily every time to make Italy capitulate. It's like if you think about it, I mean I'm not a big I'm not a big stinker when it comes down to historic accuracy, but that is not how Italy fell, is it? Italy when when Sicily fell and wasn't it even like a tip of Naples fell, didn't that like cause a coup to happen in Italy? If I could be I could be mistaken there, but I seem to recall uh the Italians fell fairly quickly when it came down to uh, losing some of their territory. Wonder how that's going to play out in a future national focus, guys. Hmm. Okay. So I will. I will honestly admit this has not gone one hundred percent to plan. I guess the secret is to go for the monarchy compromise as quickly as possible, because that means they will go for the right wing rhetoric. Meaning, they will not join the allies in most cases, but I don't know. It depends. We'll see how things go. Definitely see how things go. The United front line against the Chinese here. Mm, bit of a back and forth there. I'm not sure who's going to win that. Okay, we're doing we're doing pretty good on guns right now. I think I'm gonna make two more on you, three more on you. How many factories we got? One of the five. We are now democratic with an extra research slot. So this allows us to get an extra research slot that you would usually. Oh no, no, technically you'd be able to do this. Four year plan part, wouldn't you? Yeah, okay, so I don't actually have any extra research slots. More democ democracy or. If I go for ban communism and then do that, it gives us that 10% back. But technically, we're reducing it though, aren't we, due to the fact that we banned them? <laughs> I guess you could do that. That's not really advisable though, because you think about it, with ban communism you lose some stability, so technically you're still losing the stability anyway. So I don't think that's really worth it, but there you go. Feedback strategies, guys, not always the most optimal. Hmm. Alright, extra factories. Good, good, good. Got so many civvies. I think we can go further. We can go one step beyond, gentlemen. Max out you and you. Max out you and you. I want to go for all the ones that are blue, because those are the ones that got the most factories condensely packed inside of them. Alright, so, right now we need to execute the rest of our focus tree, because there's only four nations now we need to occupy uh, for us to form the EU. We can do all of that through going through the main German focus tree around the Maginot, allows us to do that. So, this is ha where I become unstuck. Maybe you at this point could say to yourself, Oh, I found a way of doing this without causing Britain to join the war. Maybe you have, because I haven't figured it out. So at this point, if you go for around the Maginot, the UK and France will guarantee these nations. Fair enough. That's okay. That's, that happens, you know. There's not a lot you can do about that sometimes. It just happens. And in that case, you declare war and you get all the powers sucked in and that ends up with you in a world war situation. Um... Alternatively, you can wait for the world tension to get high enough from Japan declaring war on everyone and you get an offer from the UK to join the Allies. You can't join the Allies until then. What? What? 
I have never seen that before. What the hell is happening, guys? Okay, I'll say yes to that. What the hell? I've rehearsed this like five times, and that has never happened before. So what happens is when you declare war in Italy, and Austria and Poland, and you've, you've occupied so much land, you've caused so much world tension, and the UK is usually like, no, you can't join our faction. You don't like you because you've caused so much world tension. But for some reason, look, there you go. Generated world tension, 100 minus 139. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, well, I guess this is going to turn into a super video now. Because I have the ability to take out all these nations and have the UK on my side. So therefore, World War II doesn't happen. What? What? Okay, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and to subscribe. And type question mark, question mark, question mark below if you have no idea what I did. And you just don't even have an idea what's going on. In fact, you just lost, you know? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Guys, I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. See you soon. Bye-bye.